What's up, chemistry? Welcome back to the dirt bike shed. Today we are going to be doing some stoichiometry. We're going to end stoichiometry today and we're going to give you an example. We're going to give you an example. There's going to be five short problems and then that will be it for stoichiometry. So do your best. It's going to be graded. Let's do this thing. Stoichiometry lesson three, full conversions, short. This is going to be a short video. I'm not going to waste your time. So let's do it. We're going to be doing full conversions here. Grams, liters, moles, atoms, you name it. Here we go. Got an example for you right here. How many liters of hydrogen gas are produced when adding 3.1 grams of potassium to water? It's very much like the example video where I threw some sodium in the water, all right? Now we're only using 3.1 grams of potassium this time. So let's look here. Here's our equation. Solid potassium plus liquid water yields aqueous potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas, all right? Here we go. Let's balance this first. Hmm, I got an H here and two H's. That gives me three H's on that side. So I'm probably gonna need to bump that up to four H's and then two zeros. And two, and I'm going to bet that that is it. <clears throat> First thing you do, remember, you have to balance an equation before you can do any stoichiometry, and that equation is balanced. All right, I've got 3.1 grams of potassium. I cannot put 3.1 grams into my equation. We've got potassium and hydrogen gas. These are the things we're dealing with, all right? I cannot put... 3.1 grams here. The number that goes right here has to be moles. So let's convert 3.1 grams of potassium to moles. 3.1 divided by 39. I'll just go with the even number for potassium. 3.1 divided by 39 equals 0 0.08. 0 0.08 moles. Now let's do our conversion. 0 0.08 is to 2 as x is to 1. Okay, now we've got a mole to mole ratio we can work with. 0 0.08 is to 2 as x is to 1. You can do that with your calculator. Be half as much, 0 0.04. So now we know we have 0 0.04 moles of hydrogen gas produced. How many liters, though, is the question. How many liters? So we would say 0 0.04. The conversion to liters, 22.4. 0 0.04 times 22.4. I get 0 0.9. 0 0.9 liters. All right. So there's, there's our example. And uh, let's see you try this one. Number one, how many liters of hydrogen gas are produced when adding nine grams of sodium to water? First thing you need to do is balance it, and then I'll wait on you to give me the right answer. Okay, let's balance this bad boy. I'm gonna need a two there, I'm gonna need a two there. This is very similar to the last one we balanced. All right, how many liters of hydrogen gas, all right, how much of that, are produced when adding 9 grams of sodium to water? So we cannot write 9 grams right here. We have to write the number for that in moles. So we convert 9 grams to moles. 9 grams divided by 23 grams. That's our mole conversion. 9 divided by 23, 0.39. 0.39 is to 2 as x is to 1. That'll give me 0.195 here. All right, 0 0.195. 0 0.195 moles. But the question said how many liters of hydrogen gas? So 0 0.195 times 22.4 liters. That gives us our answer of 4.4. 4. 
4.4 liters. All right, excellent. Number two, how many compounds of sodium hydroxide are produced when adding seven grams of sodium to the water? First thing we have to do is balance this bad boy. Let's balance it, all right? It's funny, these are the same balance points we've had, right? All right. How many compounds of how many compounds of sodium hydroxide? When I have seven grams of sodium, we got we cannot write seven grams here, so we're dealing with sodium hydroxide now. Blank is the two as blank is the two. All right, seven grams of sodium. Let's convert this to moles. Seven grams divided by twenty-three. Seven divided by twenty-three equals point three. 0 0.3 moles is to 2 as 0 0.3 moles is to 2. How many compounds of sodium hydroxide? We'll have 0 0.3 moles. What do you multiply to get compounds or atoms or molecules? That's right, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd times 6.02 EE23 equals... 1.8 times 10 to the 23rd. 1.8 times 10 to the 23rd. All right, let's keep rolling. Number three. Number three. If 10 grams of sodium hydroxide mix with calcium chloride, how many grams of calcium hydroxide are going to be produced? That's number three. Okay. First, we need to balance this. All right, we've got two hydrogens and two oxygens there. Gonna give me a two there. It's gonna give me a two there. One, there we go. Two, one, two, one is our balance. Ten grams of sodium hydroxide. So how much of that is mixed with calcium chloride? How many grams of calcium hydroxide? Boom. How much of that are we gonna make? Blank is to two as blank is to one. We have ten grams of sodium hydroxide. We cannot write ten grams here. We have to write moles here. 10 divided by 40, because that is the mass of sodium hydroxide, gives me 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is to 2 as x is to 1. Simple ratio is 0.125 moles. So we have 0.125 moles of calcium hydroxide being produced. How many grams would that be? If we add up calcium Hydroxide, that adds up to right at about 74 grams. I'm rounding off just a little bit. 0.125 times 74 gives me 9.25 grams. 9.25 grams. All right, good job. I hope you're getting these. Got two more left. Number four, how many liters of carbon dioxide? Okay, that's right here are produced using 11 grams of methane, all right? First, we've got to balance this. We've got to balance this. I've got a 4 there, so I'm going to put a 2 there. That gives me 4 H's and 4 H's. Now, I've got two oxygens here, but on this side, I have 2 and 2. So if I put a 2 there, 1, 2, 1, 2 balances the whole thing. How many liters of carbon dioxide are produced using 11 grams of methane? So we've got this fraction and this fraction. Well, we got 11 grams. We can't write that here. We have to write moles. 11 grams divided by CH4, which is 16 grams, right? 11 divided by 16, 0 0.69. 0 0.69 is to 1 as, guess what? 0 0.69 is to 1. Ooh, I hate it when my board messes up like that. 0.69 goes right here, okay? But it says how many liters, all right? 0.69 times 22.4 liters. That's how we convert to liters. 0.69 times 22.4 equals 15.4. 15.4 liters. There you go. We're doing it. We've got one more left. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Number five, 17 liters of propane are combusted to produce how many grams of water? 
Okay, so we're dealing with propane and water. Let me take a second to balance this. No, I need to balance this live. I, I don't know why I was thinking. I got eight H's, two over here. I put a four there. It gives me eight H's. I got three carbons. Put a three right there. Okay, now let's balance the oxygens. Three times two is six, plus four is ten. Five. One, five, three, four. Seventeen liters of propane are used. I cannot write a 17 right here. What do I have to write here? That's right. I have to write moles. 17 liters divided by 22.4 will give me the number of moles. 17 divided by 22.4. So I have 0.76 moles. 0.76 moles is to one as how many grams of water? Boom. 0.76 is to one as x is to 4. So it'll need to be 4 times bigger than that. 3.0. 3 moles. So the number that would go here would be a 3. If we did 0.76 is to 1, it's 3 is to 4. How many grams of water? How much does 1 mole of water weigh? 18 grams. That's exactly right. So the answer is 54 grams would be produced. That is the end of stoichiometry. If you understand these, maybe I'll give you a worksheet at some point. But there you go. That's, that's it. Uh, peace out from the dirt bike shed. And...